this is about console, the YouTube channel that has been committed in bringing your way educative session as touching catfish production. Basically, what we do in Cabot Fish Farm is catfish breeding. Although we also do other aspects of catfish production, such as grow out, where we grow them from tables from fingerlings to table size. We also do catfish processing. We also do feed formulation and production, as well as pond construction and general fish farm management. If today is your first time of tuning into this YouTube channel, why not hit on the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first person to benefit from our educative videos whenever we post on YouTube. Today I will be bringing to you an exciting topic around uh, catfish production and management. The secret you need to know in catfish production so that you will have 90 to 100 percent survival rates in your catfish. Join me as I take you through the secrets of having a successful catfish hatchery. Number one is, uh, I'll be talking about broodstock, broodstock selection. Um, broodstocks are parent stocks in use in hatching. We use both female and male. The females must be gravid, while the male must be matured. Yes, what I mean is that it must be matured. And your broodstock should not be less than a year old because we need matured brood fish to have uh, viable eggs and viable meals. Meals is just a name that we call spam in catfish production. So having notes that, that your parent stock must be good. The next thing you need to put in place is your water management because fish lives in water. They eat in water, they excrete in water, and they play in water. So the environment must be optimal 24-7, every day, it must be optimal. Once you have a good water management skill, I tell you, you will have around 80 to 90 uh, survival rates when it comes to catfish breeding. The next is feed, just as we have here. And once we are talking about uh, catfish production, breeding, we have a specification for our feeds. These are foreign feeds. They are imported feeds. They are not Nigerian product, products. So they are imported. And uh, the reason why we give them this kind of feed is because of the high protein content. Because hatchlings, fries, fingerlings and juveniles need high protein feed to be able to develop and grow faster. So with me here is uh, Copens. I'm not trying to sell a particular product. We have Aliaqua, we have Copens, we have Cretin. It depends on the hatcher, which feed you want to use. For us in Tabor Fish Farm, we prefer to use Copens. And this is 1.2 so right about now, our post fries are picking 1.2 copens comfortably. So we don't keep this feed anyhow. We treasure this feed because they are babies. They are still growing up. Any infection or any bacteria setting in on this feed, any contamination on the feed will equally affect your production. That is why you must take feed as one of the core aspects of your management. It must be, uh, the feed must be new. When you go to purchase this feed, either in bags or in kilos, you ensure that they give you from a new bag. Yes, because there are some that have been, must have stayed in, in the vendor shop, shops for so long. And if care is not taken, if they don't know how to manage it, this can be infected by pathogen as well as infecting your production. Lastly, I want to speak about biosecurity. With all this put in place, if you don't have biosecurity measures in place, your effort will be in vain. In our farm, 
only workers, only our staffs have access to the hatchery because the hatchery is a delicate part of our business. So we ensure that we keep biosecurity optimal so that we mitigate the infestation of pathogens, bacterial, parasites, and so on and so forth. So stay tuned as we keep bringing your way educative sessions like this that will make you more profitable in agriculture. In case if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, this is an opportunity to do so. Just hit on that subscription button, turn on your notification bell, and as well, make comments on our video, share so that the algorithm of YouTube will push our video to a wider audience. Thank you, thank you. This is Kabot Hanzo.